Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I'd like to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Double Honor to the Apostles of Great Millstone, who teach well, and salutations to Yahakim out there in the four corners of the earth, pushing out this word in truth and sincerity. And uh, basically, I just want to go into um, how Esau has always had a perpetual hatred on us, man. The tribes of Israel, the so-called, who nowadays are the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know. And, um, you know, this is just, you know, a quick exhortation just to show that, like, you know, Esau, he's never going to change. Like, he's always going to be this way. You know, he's, he, you know, the, the hate is not like a new era thing or like a new age thing. Like, this, this, this hate that uh, the so-called white man has against us. Uh, the Israelites uh, has been around since, since the beginning of time, man, you know, and um, through the scriptures, you know, we, we just go, uh, I just want to bring it out, you know, and, and push that vibration out there, man, that, you know, Esau is not going to change, man. That's why, that's why it must needs be that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai come and, uh, and destroy this man and, and get it and get it, get him away from us, man, put him in captivity, you know. Cause, cause, uh, without that, man, th there's nothing else that's gonna appease this this uh, devilish man's uh, wrath, man. So, you know, without further ado, I'm just gonna go straight into it. <coughs> this is Ezekiel 35 and five, uh, because thou has had a perpetual hated hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. You know, and and there it goes, man, like. It, it 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 it's been a perpetual hatred, man. You know, and we're and we're gonna see that come out, uh, you know, throughout the history. <clears throat> this is a uh, Genesis chapter four verse five. But unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect, and Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. So the Lord didn't have a uh, uh, respect unto the offering of Cain, you know, and and he was mad, you know. So I'm, I'm going to jump straight to, to verse 8. It says, And Cain talked with his uh, with Abel, because the thing is, is that Abel's offering was, you know, uh, accepted. Uh, for those who don't know the story, <coughs> it says, And Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. You know, and that's the crazy thing is that, is that they were brothers, man. And uh, he he still he, he didn't he didn't hold that to to to, to heart uh, for lack of better words you know he, he didn't put it you know he didn't consider <laughs> that was his brother man you know it, he 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 just has a wicked spirit in him you know to to, to cause a, a death man you know to kill you know and and, and the count goes the same uh, with Esau and Jacob man that's how, that's how you know. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that's who they are in the reincarnation but that's that's a whole other topic we're gonna read right here in uh, genesis chapter 27 verse 41 it says and esau hated jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him <laughs> and esau said in his heart so you know there goes that hate again and esau said in his heart the days of mourning for my father are at hand so esau knew his dad was gonna die it says then will i slay my brother jacob so, you know, he was already plotting, man. Like, he already, you know, he was already thinking about how, how, how to kill his brother. The same spirit of Cain, man, which is which was then given unto the, the you know, um, the uh, which was given over unto Esau, man. To have that same malignant spirit, man. To be a liar and a killer, man. <clears throat> you know, and it's evident now in the so-called white man. You know, all he does is is, is kill people uh, to to get their natural resources, to get the fat of the land, you know, to to make money. You know, that's all he does, and he doesn't even care about killing his own people to do it, man. He's putting chemtrails up, destroying the, the air, that, you know, that that their family breeds, man. You know, this this man is just wicked, man, and and his hatred towards us has been from the beginning, man. You know, <coughs> so like, yeah. there's another scripture right here. Romans 13 and 10. It says, love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. 
So, you know, here it is, so-called white man. He likes to push out that propaganda talking about, oh, uh, God loves everybody. You're supposed to love everybody, you know, uh, and, all, and all this, you know, bull crap, man, talking about democracy. Oh, everybody has a chance to vote, you know, every, you know, the majority votes, you know. But, but what, are, what are his works, man? You know, what is he actually doing, man? You know, he talks to, he talks the sweet talk, but, you know, when it comes time to deliver, what is he doing, man? He's killing the people. He's killing, you know, uh, Judah, so-called Negroes out in the streets, you know, and, 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 and even the, the Northern Kingdom, too, man. You know, the so-called Latinos and Native Americans. He ki he kills them, you know, here in America and they don't get uh, arrested for it, man. You know, that that's that same perpetual hatred that he's had against us, man, since the beginning. So it, it, it ain't nothing new, man. It ain't nothing new. You know, here it is uh, in the Dakota Pipeline. They had the opportunity, you know, uh, the, the original plans was to go through through a nice uh, white, that what, what, you, what they would say is like a nice white uh, a suburban community. But guess what? You know, they rerouted that purposely, you know, because, you know, they said that they were going to pollute their water. And, 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 they, and they did that same thing to the so-called Native Americans, man. You know he he doesn't get he doesn't care about you know so called blacks Latinos Native Americans he just care cares about himself man you know <clears throat> so I'm, I'm just keep going this is uh John Saint John chapter eight verse forty four year of the father the devil and the lust of your father you will do he was a murderer from the beginning talking about Cain you know so you know th this is the devil man it's the same spirit that was in Cain man. Which now nowadays is in the so-called white man. It says, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. So here it is, the devil. He's a murderer and a liar, man. He it says he's the father of lies, man. Hey, man, you know what what happened when the Most High uh, confronted Cain, man? He said, uh, Have you seen thy brother? He said, Am I my brother's keeper? You know, he, he lied to, to the Most High, man. You know, trying to act like he didn't know, man. When the Most High sees everything. You know, and, and this is that same wicked spirit that's that's here here today, man. So, you know, in the grand scheme of things, like, that's, that's the whole deal, man. <clears throat> you know, like how you have in movies, you have the good guy and the bad guy. Well, Esau is the bad guy, man. And Jacob, you know, the elect of Jacob... Which you know are seeking unto the Most High from the so-called Black Latin and Native Americans, they're the good guys, man. You know, <clears throat> this is Psalm chapter sixty-two, verse four. It says, "They only uh, consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies. They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly." You know, and this that same lying spirit again. You know, and 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 that's all they do, man. You know. That's the only reason they consult, man, you know, to, to try to bring down the excellency, you know, uh, uh, of the Most High and his people, man. <coughs> Salakia. You know, so it, it don't, don't think that these uh, marches, these, uh, you know, these uh, protests, you know, that these people are doing are going are gonna to change anything, man. Like, <laughs> it's not going to change anything, man. This, this is deeper. Than, than, than just uh you know so, some new age era beef man you know some some uh, uh what, what uh the so called white man likes to call uh, this new uh, racism thing you know it, this whole uh, racism deal isn't a new deal man it's been here since the beginning of time man starting from Cain and Abel then into Esau and Jacob and now the so called white man and the, and and uh and the so called blacks Latinos and Native Americans man. You know, so it's a, a constant fight, man. And and really, Yahweh about should be out shy is the one that's gonna pull us out of this thing, man. You know, just got a couple more precepts, and then we can wrap it up. This is uh, Psalms chapter eighty-three, verse one. <coughs> the song, the song or psalm of Asaph it says, "Keep not thou silence, O Yahweh. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O Yahweh. For lo, thy enemies make atonement." And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. It says they have taken crafty counsel against my people 
and consulted against the hidden ones. There goes that council again, man. That's all they do, man. That's all. That's the purpose of Esau, man, to to to, to fuck with us, man. You know. That's why in Obadiah it says that there should none be remaining of the house of Esau. When you know when the Lord comes back, you know, I, you know, after they serve their slavery, of course. You know, we're gonna have to eradicate them, man, because they they only know to do bad, man. They only know to do wickedly. You know. <coughs> Verse 4, it says, They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may no more, that Israel may be no more remembered. You know, and, and, that's, and that's the thing, man. You know, back in the days, in the time of history, people knew who the Israelites were, man. People knew that the Israelites were the, were the chosen people of the Most High. And now you ask uh, any random person, and, and, you know, and, and they won't even be able to tell you, like, They'll think the Israelites are are the them, them pale face crackers over in Israel right now, man. You know, and they, and they don't think n nothing of them, man. They think that they're just like a regular uh, old nation, man. You know, that that's that's their uh that's that has been their agenda, you know, to to uh, to to put the name of Israel, uh, Yasher Allah, out of remembrance, man. So that the people can forget about the the Most High and His people, man. <coughs> hey, man, it's, it's really that simple. Ver, verse five it says, "For they have consulted together when one consent, they are confederate against the the tabernacles of Edom and Ishmael and the Ishmaelites and of Moab and the Hagarenes." You know, there goes Edom, man. The, the chief, the, the first one to be named is Edom, man. Because guess what, man? He has that same Cain spirit. You know, and and it has always been, you know, to be against us. Uh, this is John ten and ten, Saint John ten and ten. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that I might, that they might have life, and that they may have it more abundantly. So we already know this is in red. This is a so-called Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, his real name. You know, that goes the balance. You know, Yahweh he was an Israelite, you know. And, 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 and you know, and those are the two uh, uh, the two uh, forces against each other, man. You know, the thief cometh not. Like, that's his only reason to come. You know, he comes only but to, for to kill, steal, and destroy, man. And the, and the Lord, who is an Israelite, out of him comes the vibration of life, man. You know. Out of him comes, you know, uh, peace, man. But out of the so-called white man only comes death, man. Death and destruction, you know. So, so those are the two opposites right there, man. That's why it must needs be that this third war comes about, you know. And and, uh, and, and the people destroy themselves for ultimately that our Lord destroyed them, man. It must needs be. Because if we keep leaving, living, this, letting this man live, he'll destroy everything, man. Because that's all that comes from this man. Only thing that comes from him. So, I'm going to finish off right here with Jeremiah 50 and 33. It says, Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. Talking about nowadays. We were both oppressed here. And all them that took them captives held them fast. They refuse to let them go. And that's the point, man. They're not going to let us go, man. They're not going to one day be like, oh, yeah, man, we did so-called black men, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. We did them horribly, you know. We did. We gave them the, the uh, bad end of the stick. Let, you know, let let, them, let us set them up, you know, in, in condos and high-rises uh, so, so they, they, you know, so they can be cool now. Like, nah, that's not going to happen, man. They're going to refuse to let us go. They're going to, you know, if they could, they'd have us all in captivity, you know. <clears throat> you know, which, which you know, they do. But I, re I refer to, uh, you know, to to a hard, hardcore, uh, you know, uh, slavery and chains bondage, man. You know, that's their desire, you know, and, and they're not going to let us go, man, you know. This guy, that that's his main purpose, man. You know, to 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 oppose himself, himself against all that is good, man. So, hey, man. Uh, with that, uh, hopefully the elect out there was edified. Uh, 
You know, just want to push that vibration out there, man. The Esau, he's not going to let us go, man. You know, we need our Lord, Yahweh Shai, to come back, man, and destroy and destroy this place, man, in the name of Yahweh. <laughs> you know? So, uh, again, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the Apostle Great Millstone, Ruel, and salutations to Yaakim in the four corners of the earth, pushing this word in truth and sincerity. You know? And with that, I'm going to say Shalom. And a bob a ball.